Hey everyone. Okay, I am like quite a bit early, but I got things to do and I was ready. And so I was like, I'm just gonna text Becky and tell her that I'm gonna hop on early so that I'm not waiting around for y'all and y'all are not waiting around for me. So, hello everyone. My name is Marissa Faulkner. I am a star director outside of Katy, Texas. Um, and I'm gonna be talking to y'all a little about events, the why, the who, the what, all of the things. So I don't have my glasses on, I couldn't find them. So I'm not gonna be able to look at comments, but if you have questions that I don't um, touch on, just put them in the comments and I will circle back around after and answer anything that I can. So let me get my big old thing of water. I hope that y'all are having an amazing day. I hope that you're healthy and happy. And all of the things. Um, so I, if you've seen on my YouTube, I do talk about business niche, 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 um, quite a lot. And for me, my business niche, where I find most of my new customers, because no matter, I've been in the business for six years. I've been with Sensi since 2017. But no matter how long you're in this business, you're gonna be needing to find new customers. And I try to do that every single day. Um, for me, I'm sorry guys, I have a lot of dogs. So y'all are gonna be hearing them. And when I get on trainings, that's when they like to be the most annoying. So if you can relate, give me some hearts, give me some laughs, let me know. Um, but for me, I don't love home parties. That's not my thing. It doesn't bring me joy. And one thing that I've learned in this business is to do what brings you joy and do things that don't burn you out. And for me, an event, I would rather, um, let me preface this with, I have two small children. I have a six-year-old son and a three-year-old son. Um, I'm a busy, busy work at home mom. I'm sure just like most of you. Um, and for me, I don't want to be in someone's house uh, every Friday night, like for the next foreseeable future, finding new customers. That just does not sound fun to me. I'm an introvert. Well, I'm an omnivert, but I lean more towards introvert. So it is a lot easier for me to five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to do a few events out of the year where I can meet hundreds of people in one day, be super social one day, rather than meet 10 people every Friday night doing a home party or a Facebook party or whatever that may be, taking me away from my family. So for me, I would much rather spend a whole day doing an event, a whole weekend doing an event, a few times a year, finding new customers rather than spending every weekend for the what feels like the rest of my life finding new customers. So I love events for that reason. It just makes sense to me. So um, a lot of things, a lot of questions that I get with, where to start events is, okay, well, I'm new. How do I start an event if I'm new? It doesn't matter how long you've been with Sensi or how long you've been in direct sales or how long you've, it doesn't matter if you've done a hundred shows or no shows. The You just have to, like how Mel Robbins says, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, say yes, right? And even still, I do events every single year, every season. I still will talk myself out of them. I still get like migraines that are like anxiety driven, like right here. And I'm like, okay, I, I can't, but that's not going to serve me. Right. It only takes one person to change your business and it might be yourself and it might be yourself saying yes to something that you might not normally do. Guess what? Worst case you hated it and you don't ever have to do it again. Right. Um, I will say that an event takes a little bit more investment up front. So if you're only going to, if you like, I, if you're going to do it, try to do it more than once so that you can get your money was worth. But um, I always say start small. So get in contact. I live in a like small suburb town outside of Houston, Texas. So for me, um, I would go on to like my like civic centers in Houston. Um, you can go on their website and their event list. Also keep in mind that you're going to be booking in advance, right? So for me, it's spring, right? I have a bunch of spring shows lined up, but right now I'm booking for fall. I'm not even booking for Christmas right now. I've, you got to think ahead, okay? That way you're not like trying to scurry and get inventory, trying to, and also let me preface this before anyone turns me into a compliance because I have trained over events before and that has happened. I do not do in stock, like I don't do stock sales. Everything I carry for stock is for events. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, um, in-person 
communication. I'm not online showing off all my stock and that's not what I carry stock for. I also get most of this stuff via Hostess Rewards and free and half off really. So don't, don't even, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Okay. So don't even, um, but get online your, go to your, like for me, I live in Katy, Texas. So I would just go find like the Katy Dot org and go see what kind of events they have planned. Sometimes they'll do like 4th of July things. Sometimes they'll do like they have their um, event calendar set up a year in advance. So your event calendar should be set up a year in advance. Okay. Um, another great way to get events, especially if you're newer to events, you want to start small in my opinion. Like I personally am not the type of person where I've never done an event. So I'm going to go pay a thousand dollars to be a vendor at you know, George R. Brown's convention, biggest convention center of the year. That's not what I'm, I would suggest. I would get in contact with your local elementary schools, your local field days, your baseball fields, things like that, where they're looking, where it's a low cost to be a vendor, but you can get some experience and some, and get your name out there. Because let's be clear, y'all, this is a tough pill to swallow, but events are not really about making money. I mean, do we want to make money? Yes, absolutely. We're definitely not in the business of losing money. But events are not for making money. If you make money, that's a plus. Okay, if you come out even, that's that's your goal. Events are for meeting people. Events are for getting your name out there. So if you're going to do an event and you're going to have an ugly stank face on the whole time, you might as well not do it, right? You got to put a smile on your face. You got to be approachable. Even fake it till you make it, baby. Fake it till you make it, right? I, trust me, I get it. Like I told y'all before, I am an omnivert. I'm an introvert. I'm an omnivert. I'm an introvert naturally. Um, I Sometimes I got to fake it till I make it. I got to, hey, how are you doing? Right? Like, it's okay. Grab, grab yourself some coffee. Take it as a, a vacation day to get away from your family. I don't know. You know, whatever. Um, but you're going to have to put a smile on your face and be personable and be fun and be inviting so that people want to shop your space. On the topic of shopping your space, when you envision what your space is going to look like, there isn't a, um, I think it's called like sensational vendor booths or some type of event, or it's like an event group on here on Facebook. I'll tag it below if I can find it. And there's tons of ideas for like what your space can look like. When you're um, setting up your event space, I want you to think about what you would like to see. If you, it's really important that when you're jumping into events and you're going to try this, that you think like a business, okay? Because like I tell my people all the time, we are not in the business of losing money. We are in the business of making money. So you need to think like a business, right? You need to think like you are sensi, okay? So what looks good? Different heights, different like colors together, put your bars together. For me, I'll show y'all. I have this big box I'm going to show y'all of different props. Um, I do not think that you should be going in and spending hundreds of dollars on event setups. I think that that's silly, right? The since he is the decor, the warmers are the decor, the wax sells itself. As long as people are smelling it and they can see it and it's lit up and it looks nice, you don't really need a bunch of fluff, a bunch of extra stuff. Okay. So, um, we'll get into that in a minute though. Um, a great way to get those smaller, like start off events, ones that you can kind of like get a few, um, experiences under your belt, ask people, no one will ever know that you want to do events if you don't ask. So get on your Facebook, get on your, like your mom groups, your base, whatever it is, and let people know, Hey, I want to be a vendor. Okay. I want to do vendor events. If you hear of anybody, please recommend me. Okay. Open your mouth. Your business is closed. If your mouth is closed, you cannot expect people to come knock on your door and be like, Hey, do you want to be a vendor? We're going to do a vendor event soon. You want to be a vendor? No, no one's doing that. No, no one has your best interest in heart except you. Okay. So get online and ask people, same with fundraisers, same with parties, same with all of these types of things. You have to ask the absolute worst case scenario is they say no. And who gives a flying F? Okay, who cares? Their no is not going to make you die. It's not. It's not going to make you die. So ask people, okay? Ask people. Say, hey, I am looking for, take take a selfie with a bar of wax. I think that it's really important to show your face, especially online. Take a selfie if you want to do like baseball. 
take a selfie. Hey guys, I want to do a baseball fundraiser. I, these are so cute. They smell amazing. Um, your baseball player needs this. I'm looking for vendor events. If you need someone to raise money for you or whatever it may be, consider me. Ask people, okay? Um, another great way is to get on Facebook and use that search engine for events in your like up and coming space. Their Facebook will do, you have to, I mean, you have to have like your blinders on because Facebook is full of scams and I don't want you to get scammed. But so if it sounds like it's too good to be true, like ask some questions, right? Like, make sure that you're um, like there's open communication between everyone involved. But yeah, Facebook is a great search engine. And if you like, for instance, for me, I have found that there are already Sensi events uh, or Sensi consultants that have booked a lot of my town's events, right? There are some SSDs that are really great about events in this area, which only tells me that I got to get out of town. Okay. I got to, I got to expand my event. Um, like where I'm willing to go, I've got to expand it. So I live in Houston, but I will do, you know, I'll do the other side of Houston, which if you're from Texas, whew, Houston's a big city. So it might take me two hours to get to the other side of Houston, but I will do it. I'll do San Antonio. I'll do Dallas, right? Like get out of your own town. If you think that you can't find anything in your town, you got to get out of your town. That's it. That's really it. If you think that if you let someone saying, oh, we already have a Sensi, we already have a Sensi consultant book, sorry, let you not do it, then you stopped yourself. You got in your own way. You got to get out of your way. Okay. So that's how you find them. The best way is to open your mouth. Just keep your mouth open. Let people know that you are open for business, that you are open on expanding your business, right? This ain't a small business, baby. This is a big business. I got big dreams. I got big goals and I got big work ethic. And that's what's going to set me apart. And when you have those big work ethics and those big goals and that big smile, that's how you get people to ask you to come back. Okay. So for instance, I do, a, I do a show every year. It's a school carnival that's over an hour away. My kids don't go to that school. And they text me every single year and they ask me to come back. And that is no work on my end. I went one time, I had a smile on my face, and now people remember me to ask me to come back, okay? So when you're making events, things that you should consider is what is your budget, okay? Because like I said, we're not in the business of losing money. I absolutely do not think that you should go into debt for anything in business. If you have a sponsor that's telling you, you need to put X, X, X on a credit card, blah, blah, blah. And then that's not my, that's not my style. I don't think that you should be going into debt. I think that maybe you should take a step back, book some parties and then earn a little bit more commission and then maybe book the next year. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not into debt. Okay. So I don't want you to go in the hole trying to get stock or trying to get money to book vendor events because you, there are vendor events that you can find to be $25. There's free ones. There's ones that are a thousand dollars, really big craft shows. If you're in the Houston area, like the nutcracker market, very expensive to be a vendor there, right? That's a very big event. There, there are events that are a week long, that are a weekend long, that are 10 hours long, that are half a day long. All of those things are things that you should consider before saying yes, okay? So when I, when someone comes to me and says, hey, do you want to be a vendor at our event? Because my mouth is open so much that they know that I'm looking for opportunities, one thing I'll ask is, okay, um, I would love to consider it. So how much is it to be a vendor? How big is my space? Is it indoor or outdoor? Because like I said, I'm in Texas and y'all, it's already 90 degrees. Sorry, I got big dogs. Um, it's already like 90 degrees outside. So that's something that I need to consider because I sell something that melts, right? That's something that I've got to consider. Is it indoor or is it outdoor? Are you going to be offering electricity? How long is the event? How many miles am I going to have to drive? All things to consider before saying yes. Now, the only thing that you should consider before saying no is, will I find that rock star at this event? Let me give you a little bit of backstory. So I'm a star director. I've been with Sensi since 2016 and I love Sensi. I am a no mess mama. I love Sensi. Sensi is my happy place. Sensi feeds my kids. I have found immense amount of joy and purpose within this business opportunity. And I am here to share that with everyone I know, right? I found Sensi at an event. Okay, I was at a, I was like 10 months pregnant at a Christmas show. And there was a woman there selling Sensi. And God bless her, but she did, 
She did not, she sold me the opportunity and she never gave me her name. She never gave me her business card. She never gave, I couldn't tell you what her, I couldn't even remember what she looked like, honestly. But her booth smelled amazing. It looked great and it was a dead show. I was like one of the only people there, right? And <clears throat> I sat thinking about, hmm, I could do that. I could do that. I sat thinking about that for two months. God, if God only knows if I would have had her information, I would have joined under her, but I ended up joining under Cincy.com. I got super blessed with my sponsor, but that's not the point, but it goes to show when you're out there doing events, like I said, the point isn't to necessarily make money. That's totally just a perk. The point is to make contacts, but not only make contacts, but give your contact info out. So don't let anyone leave your event booth without exchanging contact information. That is your number one goal. Your number one goal is to get as many contacts as you can. So how do I do that? One way that I do, and like I said, this is all in person. So this is one-on-one -on -one communication. Do not send me to compliance, okay? Don't, don't do it. I'm not the one, okay? <laughs> don't send me to compliance. So what I do is I got this Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot are your the only things you need to be spending money on for fluff, okay? There is nothing over $5 is necessary. So don't go like broke trying to find cute stuff to make your booth look cute. Like I said, Cincy is cute enough, okay? So what I do is I, one way that I make, and I'm going to show you all of this, don't worry. Um, one way that I get contact information is I have this jar right here. I love this jar. I got it from the Target dollar spot. It was $5. Okay. I have a silhouette. It's a tax write off. That is an expensive machine. I don't think that anybody needs it. You could even like print it on a piece of paper and tape it on the jar, whatever you need it to be. And it says, enter here to win. Okay. And whatever they win is whatever I decide that day, right? It might be a warmer. It might be a bar of wax. It might be a deluxe sample pack. We'll see how the show goes. Okay. That's how I feel about it at least. Um, and they sell these little things. I don't want to give anybody's information out, but they sell these like enter my drawing slips on the consultant website. You can make these yourself and print them out. You don't need to be spending money about that. Um, and what I do is I just, when, even if they buy or they don't buy, no matter what, I ask them, I say, Hey, let me get your, um, name and phone number and I will enter you into my drawing. No purchase necessary. And that's how I get people's information. And if I'm really, if it's really slow, I will take it myself because I know that I can read my own handwriting. Okay. I've had that where people will put their stuff in and I'm like, what the hell does this say? I have no idea. Um, so if it's really slow, I'll try to take it myself and write it. Okay. So that there's no, there's no error. There's no room for miscommunication. And all I do is I have these, these are sold on the consultant store as well. Mind you, I've been doing this for six years. So a lot of this, I didn't buy this all at once. Okay. This is all small investments into a bigger opportunity. Okay. So these with that little slip pins galore. That's how it, that's how it happens. The entire point is to get people's communication. And if you know me, you know me, I run most of my business. I do a few shows a year and then the rest is 95% over social media. So what I'm also going to do is if I'm going to make an impression on you, that's what, that's for damn sure. If I'm going to take a day out of my family, if I'm going to take a day away from my family, I'm going to make sure every single person in that booth is going to remember me. It helps that like, I'm like, oh, you're going to remember, I'm the, I'm the redhead, I'm the redhead since like, they're going to remember me, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be like, hey, let's add each other, let's get social. Let's get social, okay? We're going to add each other on social media and we're going to become besties. Because we're not in the business of selling, we're in the business of relationships. And events are all about meeting people. They're not about making money, they're about networking. Net you know, I've been to events that I like barely came out even on not great and very slow events, but I network with all of the other vendors and that has also created 
lifelong relationships, um, like friendships, things. Maybe they, maybe it takes them five years to buy Scentsy from me. I don't care because that's not the purpose. My purpose is to make friends. I feel like if you are always making friends, if you are always trying to be friendly, if you are always trying to be a good person, if you, if people know that you are genuine and you are authentically yourself, your business is set for success. If you're always trying to make friends, you will always make new customers because it's super easy to sell Scentsy once you make the friends because you're just going to share it and Scentsy sells itself. It's no big deal, right? I'm not becoming your friend so you buy Scentsy from me, but that's usually what happens, right? Because I love Scentsy and it's easy to show. So I will add all these people on social media um, and then they just kind of see how I work my business on social and that leads to a sale that I can follow up with and that lead that follow up leads to a repeat customer. It's just like a little chain. Okay. So events are all about meeting people. This jar helps me a ton with getting people's contact info, but nothing helps more than me being like, Hey, let's add each other on social. Okay. I also have a very witty Instagram name. So people will re remember it. Um, but yeah, ask people, open your mouth. Like I said, open your mouth to ask for events. And then once you get the event, open your mouth to ask for them to be your friend on Facebook. Who cares? Who cares? So I, like, it's no big deal. So that's how I, um, get people's contact info. A few tips. Okay. So like I said, never go into debt or use your last buck to do an event. Okay. If you can't afford an event, you can't afford an event. You're not in the business to lose money. We are not feeding that stereotype guys. We are not feeding that MLM stereotype. This business has changed my life. It's changed my family's life. It pays for my mortgage. It feeds my kids. And I have never lost money doing this. Anyone who says that um, MLMs are X, Y, and Z, they're just not, they don't make very good business decisions, right? Like this is a business and you've got to make good business decisions. So if you don't have a thousand dollars to spend on an event, you should not be signing up for it. That's not, that's not in your interest, right? You should book some extra parties. I think someone just did a training on parties. Go watch it. Figure out how she books parties or sell X amount extra Scentsy because we're not in the business to lose money. So don't go into debt to events. Events are things you will have to invest in, but it should be money that you're making with Scentsy. Okay. Um, start small and work your way up. Start with school carnivals with, um, like my person, my son plays baseball. They don't do this, but I do another event every year for a different baseball <coughs> little league that does a opening day. They have hundreds of vendors. Okay. That's like, those are like $50 entrance fees. No big deal. Okay. Um, those small things work your way up and guess what? Then you start to, um, note also like while you're there, like I said, put a smile on your face, be, be, be friendly, be presentable, be professional because you want them to ask you to come back. And a lot of the times those people who are running those types of events, they run other stuff too. So they'll be like, or they know other people who run stuff, right? So the girl who runs the baseball show, she talked to the girl who runs her dance competitions. And now I do the dance competitions as well. It's all about word of mouth. So make sure you are on your, put your best foot forward. Okay. Um, as far as stock. Okay. So do you need stock to do vendor events? No, you don't. Everything you need to run a successful business with Sensi comes in your, in your starter kit. Okay. You've got testers, you've got, you've got all that stuff that you could take orders online and do it that way. I think that's a big pain in the ass. Okay. For me, you can't sell what you don't have, okay? So when you're cashing out those hostess rewards every month or however you run your business, think like a business. Be smart. So for me, I'm cashing out on wax, okay? my A lot of people ask, what sells at events? Well, you can always sell what you like the best, right? So whatever you like the best, whatever you can get excited for, whatever you can be like, I love this. So for me, air purifiers, that's my jam. I love, I got four dogs, big dogs. Okay. Two small boys. I love air purifiers. I, I can sell the crap out of an air purifier, but for me, wax, wax and warmers is the bread and butter of our business. It's what people know Scentsy for. Everything else is like cherries and sprinkles on top. Okay. Um, so I am going to be cashing out on wax. Okay. And I keep them 
and these, okay? Sorry guys, I'm actually event prepping right this second and so my office is an absolute freaking disaster. But that's that's part of events too is you got to get your prep going. And then I keep I live in Texas, so it's hot. It's hot, so I have to keep all mine flat. Okay, I can't I used to do the hanging ones and they were melting. It was a big mess. That is what I keep them in and then I keep them in these totes, okay? Okay? And then for actual event day, depending on weather, cuz like I said it's hot. Um, I, these are $7 at Walmart that they are, don't hang in with me. They're acrylic sock holders. Okay. So they're sock organizers, but they fit wax bars in them beautifully. Okay. Now, sometimes you can see where they've melted and they ate through, which is the problem with living in Texas. Okay. So this doesn't work for me in the spring and summer, but this is my favorite way to showcase wax in the two months that I can here in Texas. So what you would do, these hold 10 rows or three rows of 10, so 30 in each. And I love this because it makes it super easy for people to look through. Now, if they're like all flat, you know, like on top of each other, it makes it a little bit harder. I mean, people are, they can do what they can, but these are amazing, okay? So they could just, right? And I will organize it so it'll be like fresh, fruity, Disney. I'll, 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 I'll post pics, okay? Don't turn me into compliance, please, okay? I already said that. Um, but this is how I store my wax bars at the event. I love these things. Only seven bucks. And these are at Walmart. And they are, if you're searching for it, it's acrylic sock organizer or acrylic sock holder, okay? Um, and then also what I do is I use Scentsy with boxes to create height um, and dimension and even hold these things. So you can see this one, I was holding some oils in. You can see where it bled, but no big deal. These are beautiful. They already have like Scentsy vibe to them. Use what you got, use what you got. The warmers, use the warmer boxes. Take the warmer out, put it on top of the box so that you can create height. Um, if you don't have electricity, you could even get those little like, they're like these little lights and you can put them in and they click and they'll look like a light bulb is on. That's cool. They're like, you can get them on Amazon for super cheap. Um, but use what Scentsy gives you. Scentsy is beautiful. It sells itself. Okay. You don't need all the extra stuff. Um, so people can't buy what you don't have. So that's why I say use those host rewards and really like cash out on those for that's how I make my samples all of my hostess rewards are things for events and my customers ways that I can spoil my customers ways that I can show my appreciation so um my number one tip is to have as much Luna wax as you can possibly get that is my number one seller Luna wax all day every day I will sell six bars of Luna to every one bar of whatever other scent so Luna is the way to go um, I will do like, I tried to do at least three or three to six bars of all of our classic scents. And then I like to do like 12 of Luna. Okay. Um, and even with that, I'll sell out of Luna by the end of the day. So Luna, blueberry cheesecake, coconut lemongrass, clothesline, black raspberry vanilla, all of those types of scents. I'm definitely going to be having on hand. Another thing, price everything. Oh, light bulbs too. Light bulbs are a huge seller. All I do is I get light bulbs and then um, we don't make PR, like we don't get PRV off of our half off items. So personally, I like to really cheap stuff because I'd rather pay for it and get PRV to make commission off of it. Um, so I do the three packs of light bulbs for every half off I ever, ever get. Okay. So I only, so light bulbs are very cheap. Um, and then I just get like a, like a, plastic basket from the dollar store, from Walmart, Target, whatever, um, and throw them in there and that's it. Um, I will, for the colored bulbs, I'll put a colored sticker so people don't need to like be rummaging around. Um, I'll also put like a, I know that says 25, but I'll put a 25 sticker on there because listen to me, people don't, people want super easy. You want the most easy, most seamless checkout at your events. You don't want, you don't want people looking, having to ask you how much something costs. So if you're going to do 
warmers, make sure that your warmer price is vividly, like vividly shown. So people don't need to ask you because for me, if I'm shopping, asking someone how much something is could make me not buy it. I, I don't like, I don't love to talk to people when I, especially when I'm the customer. So I want people to feel the same way. So make all of the prices very well seen. And the way I do that is I also dollar store. I get dollar store cranes. Okay. I get dollar store frames and cardstock, and I just print and cut and put the paper in the frames, but it's very wax, buy five, get one free. I try not to sell anything but six packs of wax, okay? I don't want people buying one wax bar. I ain't got time for that, okay? Wax is buy five, get one free. 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 If somebody asks me how much is wax, wax is buy five, get one free, $30, okay? Or six each, but buy five, get one free. So that's very, that's shown, it's just a dollar cheapo um, frame. I have this showing off why I love our air purifiers because if I can sell some air purifiers, that that's a high ticket item and not a lot of work, okay? So love this. This is just stays in the frame on the table next to my air purifier. And then I have this, scan to pay. And it just gives you um, I also will do like a menu of sorts. I actually just threw that away, so I need to remake it, but where it has all of the prices, um, labeled out well. I personally don't sell a ton of warmers, so I don't keep a ton of warmers in stock. My goal is wax, 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 wax. So it's easy for me to keep, um, like I can, I know how much stuff is off the top of my head, but my customers don't. So everything needs to be very, um, plainly shown, right? You don't want, you don't want people to have to ask you questions unless it's like the air purifier where you need to be very, um, knowledgeable about this. If someone's going to give you $250 for something, you better know every dang thing about this air purifier, right? If you're not confident about it and you don't know what the heck you're talking about, I'm not buying it, right? I'm not going to spend $250 on something that you can't pitch to me. So, um, now wax is so much easier to sell because they smell it. They love it. It's sold. No big deal. No big deal. Um, price everything. Use Scentsy boxes to get those different variations of height. That is so appealing to the eye and aesthetically pleasing booths. If your booth is a big hot mess, it's going to tell me that you're a big hot mess and I don't want to work with you. Okay. It's important. It is important to be Events are a one, like events, sh your best day, okay? No matter if it's your worst day ever, you got to put your best face on, your best foot forward for events because these people are only, it's like a first impression on steroids, right? Like that is what they're going to know you as. So um, you can group similar items together to make it all really cohesive. If y'all want, I can show pictures of how I do mine. Um, I love 10 by 10 booths, black tablecloths. Um, I get black tent walls. Like I said, I live in Texas. It's really hot. Um, but I try to keep it very clean, neat, and let the Scentsy be the showcase of everything, right? So um, I talked about contact info. That's the most important thing, getting people's contact info. So last thing I want to talk about is investments um, with events. So there are some things that you're going to have to buy to do events, but those things are going to be the same things you use over and over again, right? So yes, I had to buy a tent. I had to buy tables. I don't want to use someone else's tables. I'm just weird like that. Some people will give you a table, but I think that it's really important that you have your own. Um, six uh, foot table, folding table is my preference. Um, a chair to sit in, right? Um, black tablecloths are my preference. I think that they look the best. I'm not super into like the giant purple booths, but if that's your thing, that's your thing. Um, what else? surge protectors. Um, if you're going to have all of your stuff on, you're going to need a lot of extension cords. Okay. Um, a lot of extension cords and surge protectors. So, um, what else? I dollar store, dollar store, dollar store, target dollar spot. I even like, look, I found this super cute thing at target dollar spot. 
that like these types of things they're so cute like this was like three bucks or something you could do like rune sprays in here are very it's not expensive okay don't overthink it that's another thing don't overthink it because you'll talk yourself out of it okay don't overthink it say yes because i am so guilty of that y'all i literally have one on april 1st that i was talking to my husband and I was doing everything under the sun to talk myself out of that. It's so far. It's going to be hot. My wax is going to melt. Blah, 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 blah. And my husband is like, no, get your ass over there. You got work to do girl. So don't talk yourself out of it. It's not hard. It's only as scary as you make it out to be right. It's like one, it's just one day of being really brave. Okay. Um, Oh, the last thing, this is my bag of I call this my oh bag, okay? These are things that you probably don't think you're gonna need, but once you're there and you're like needing to set up your entire booth in an hour, and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? And typically I'm by myself. I'm only 5'3", so it's hard to get that tent up by myself. So I have to allot myself that time. But this is my things that you will need, okay? I keep it in this big plastic bag. And this, everything also is in these black and yellow um, rolling, the wheels, very important so that you can get your stuff to where they need to go. Because like I said, if you're doing like a baseball field, you're going to be trekking through grass, things to consider. How are you going to get to where you need to be very easily? Um, and I'm a strong person, so even the wheels help me. But okay, order forms, you need to make an order form for every single person that buys from you at an event. The only thing I use order forms on in my business are events, okay? But this is a great way to keep contact. So they, they buy, I give them their yellow part, I keep the white part, the next day they get put into my project broadcast with a campaign that says, hey, thank you so much, this is Marissa, um, thank you for stopping by my booth at blah 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 event, here's my contact info if you can, in case you need anything else, in case you need to get a hold of me, okay? That's how I can make sure that they have my information. That's also a great way to be like, hey, here's my VIP Facebook group so you never miss a deal, okay? Things like that. Just a good way to contact them. You're going to need highlighters. Don't ask me for what, but you'll need it, okay? Um, you're going to need a ton of pens, okay? Here are those order forms, those little drawing forms. You're going to need scissors. Don't ask me for what, but you will. There will be a day where you're out there and you're like, I wish I had a pair of scissors, okay? Trust me. You're gonna need this type of tape because I literally tape a piece of card stock that says authentic Scentsy bars, six or five, buy five, get one free or six for 30 onto my tablecloth. And that's what shows in the, in the front, okay? Tape, this type of tape, packing tape and this type of tape, okay? Love, 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 okay? This, this is my oh shit bag. Okay, these are things that you will need. Um, credit cards. You want to accept credit cards, right? Because there are people in the world where you're going to lose 80% of your sales because you don't accept credit cards. I use Square. It's super easy. It is a fee. I just write the fee off in my taxes, okay? As a business expense, it is what it is. I would rather pay the fee than miss the sale. So no big deal. Um, so Square Reader, another thing in that OSHA bag is Sharpies. You're going to want that nonsense related items that I bring little cooler with water plus a snack yes 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 because think about it especially like I typically run mine alone sometimes I'll I'll lug my best friend with me who's not a Scentsy consultant but so that she can help me but um I yeah it's hard to get away from your booth you don't want to leave your stuff unattended so yes snacks are super important staying hydrated is super important um I've even considered buying like a bougie cooler to keep my wax in like I said I'm in Texas so I've I'm still trying to combat how to figure out how to do Scentsy vendor events when it's 120 degrees outside um with a heat index of higher but if y'all have any tips on that let me know sunscreen absolutely yes 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 um yeah it doesn't hurt I will definitely always have a Scentsy shirt on if during the event, I also have the little satchel that I'll wear. Um, I do have another thing that I use is a, let me show you Okay, so this is the tent that I use. It's nothing 
It's nothing bougie. It's like from Dick's Sporting Goods. It's probably like the cheapest one I could find. Or middle. Actually, it's probably like the second cheapest one I could find. But yeah, something. And then the walls. Be careful with the walls because sometimes they'll actually keep heat in. But so I usually will do like two walls where I can get some airflow but I'll block off the direct sun because I have had a had an event where all my all of my bars melted it's no big deal but it was a pain in the ass um I recently ordered the cash app and Venmo debit cards for easier access to funds I don't do that that's awesome I don't have I, I don't know anything about that um but so I I have this this is my cash box got my square reader in it it's a very it just clicks into your phone and they can swipe it very easy to use I bring um I typically will go to the bank the morning of and get a hundred dollars in cash of like ones fives tens and a few twenties maybe like one or two twenty one twenty and the rest really small bills um so that I can do cash cash is king I love cash um another thing Yes, brand, brand yourself, brand yourself, okay, y'all, I'm like really digging out this box, but um, I made this, it's not perfect, but it works, um, I personally, you know, we have like buy, host, join, I like join, host, buy, because those are my priorities, I want everyone to sell Scentsy, um, it's been a huge blessing to my life, and I know that it can bless everyone that wants wants it to so that's how I do that this is a QR code to my popple which has all of my social media on it um I do project broadcast so my work phone number is different than my regular phone number another thing that you can do um where did my things go sorry guys I am like I said I am actually event prepping right now so I'm a little bit of a mess this is beautifully this is has join brochures in it or any trifolds that I make so that people can easily grab. Um, another tip is clear bags, okay? Why clear bags? Because, listen, hear me out. Scentsy is a well-known company. There are people who you're going to meet where they don't know what Scentsy is. They've never heard about it. But there are also people who are going to be like, oh, I've been buying Scentsy for 15 years, right? When they see a clear bag and they see all the wax inside the bag... They're going to say, where is that Scentsy booth? Where is the Scentsy girl? Point me in her direction, right? That is having, those little wax bars are like employees for me. They worked for me. I didn't even have to talk to that person. Those, that clear bag with the wax bars sent those people my way. So I love, they're like a dollar for 10 when you close out a workstation order, okay? Stock up on those. Um, do you add them to your personal social VIP? Yes. Yes, I'm adding everybody. I am adding every single person I meet. I'm sure that everyone, when they meet me, they think I'm a stalker and I'm absolutely out of my mind because I add everybody. If we meet one time, I am searching you on Facebook and I'm going to add you. I want to be your friend and you're going to want to be my friend by the end of it. So that's how I feel about that. I add everybody and their mom if I can. Okay. Um, to which one? Personally, I will do, if I really hit it off with you, my personal Facebook will be the first place. And then if we're like, whatever, um, in that follow-up. So when I get everyone's information, I follow up the next, typically next Monday, Tuesday. I put them into Project Broadcast as a contact. And then I send out a campaign that says, hey, thank you so much for stopping by my vendor booth this weekend. Here's my contact info if you need any smell goods in the future. And then I will add a trackable link in that campaign to my VIP group on Facebook and say, here's my Facebook um, Scentsy group. This is where you'll hear about all of the latest deals and steals. Um, and I give them the link and they can add themselves, right? And so that's how I do that. But if I really hit it off with you, I'm going to add you to my personal Facebook first because I want to be your friend first primarily. Does that make sense? I just think it's so much easier to, I'm not a big seller. I'm a sharer. So for me, I share things that I love and know and that sells itself. Okay. So if they can fall in love with me, then I know they'll fall in love with Sensi. It's harder to make someone fall in love with Scentsy without falling in love with me first, right? 
I must just, I, it's an ego thing too though. <laughs> so there's that. Um, what else? What else? Branding, 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 wear a Scentsy shirt, make sure there's like, um, go to the workstation on the consultant store. There's tons of stuff. I would love to get like one of those giant banners that say join my team. But like I said, I'm just, I haven't invested that into it yet. Um, but I love that as well. Um, also I will get like, um, Hobby Lobby has a ton of like baskets. I'll, I'll post pictures and show y'all kind of what I do. Please, once again, please do not turn me into compliance. If I do post these pictures, these are one day events that I'm selling stock at one-on-one -on -one communication. I am not out here all over social media, media sharing all these pictures. So, um, yes. Do y'all have any other questions? Events are super fun. They're intimidating. They're a little bit of investment, but they're super worth it. You will get a hundred new leads rather than, like I said, a hundred leads in one weekend is so much easier for me to tackle than giving myself to a Facebook party or a home party every single week. That's just not my style, but I love events. I love, um, I actually prefer smaller events rather than the big, big, big host, like, um, craft shows and stuff like that. But whatever you can get into, whatever your budget can handle, I say, go for it. Right. Don't talk. Don't be like me and talk yourself out of something. Um, thank you so much. Vendor events have always intimidated me. They are intimidating. Now I want to start collecting things. I need to do them in the future. You rock and you can do this. Don't talk yourself out of it. Another thing. So like I said, I do focus on wax because in my experience, when I had a hundred million different options, still wax was what sold. <laughs> wax was my big seller. So I will spend, you know, if I have $300 in hostess rewards, I'm going to get $300 worth of wax and probably a hundred of it's going to be a Bluna. Okay. That's just how I am. So I do, but what I will do, I actually, um, one of my gal pals, Robin, she posted this picture and I was like, oh, genius, gonna steal that. Target Dollar Spot had these caddies. And I, okay, so I actually have these, right? I, I went and bought a separate one because I use these like for like baseball nights when my kid, when I have to go get like Sonic before, before a game, I put their, their food here and a drink here. So they're not like, I got little kids. Yeah, not the point. But um, I went and got one that's new. And basically what I'm going to do, sorry, I have y'all sitting on a thing of all-purpose cleaner, so I'm going to have to, you're going to get a double chin. Sorry, guys. Um, what I do is I'm going to put this here. I'm going to go grab some counter clean. This is my, like, Scentsy China cabinet. Some counter clean, a bathroom cleaner. So I'm not necessarily going to be selling a ton of cleaning products. I'm going to put a scrub daddy in here and a microfiber cloth, and I'm going to show a little cleaning setup. So that people know that we do sell cleaning stuff. We're not just wax and warmers. My focus is wax and warmers, but I want them to know that we sell other stuff too, okay? I'll do the same with bath products. I'll get a little ceramic bathtub from the dark Target dollar spot and show the body scrub or, you know, things like that. So a little, now I'm not going to sell this probably, but I'll take orders for it, you know, just to show there's more than wax and warmers. Now, at events, wax is the way to go, but... Um, social media, I sell tons and tons of cleaning products, but okay, let's see. Is there any other questions? Thank you all for tuning in. I learned that wax sells and not the, and not to package it all pretty. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The smelling does the selling. If they can smell it, you're good. You're good. You don't even really need to do anything. So I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope that this helps. I hope that this encourages you to just five, four, three, two, one, do it. Say yes. Okay. Go find, like I said, go to your city council page and figure out what their event schedule looks like. Go to your kids school and ask them if they're doing a fall fundraising carnival or whatever it may be. Open your mouth, get on Facebook and take a picture, take a picture and say, Hey, I am looking for spring or fall or winter or whatever the hell it is. I'm looking for vendor events. If you know of anybody, please consider me. Okay. People want to know that you want to work people. There are so many people in direct sales that don't give a damn about their business. Make yours different, right? When you show people that you're serious, that you love what you do, that you're excited for what you do, 
success is on its way. It's no big deal after that, right? That is literally the secret. Just enjoy what you do. Be authentically yourself, but open your dang mouth. That's the, that's the trick. So I love you guys. Have an amazing day. And this, thank you so much, Becky, for putting this on. All of the trainings have been wonderful. So